everybody, Skeets here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to create the most efficient macros suitable to your playstyle. In this guide, I will be covering focus macros, modifier macros, and arena 1, 2, 3 macros. I will be breaking down the tutorial and showing you how to write these macros, and then showing you what they do. Hello everybody, I'm going to start today's tutorial off with focus macros and how to write them. Now focus macros are pretty easy. Now you can see I have a lot of macros and these are just random ones where you know I have tried out ones. So this is my mashable stealth button but that's I'll get into that later. I'm going to press new. We're going to go kick. Focus kick button. And what you do is you could do hash key show tooltip kick. Now what that does is if you mouse over it will show you your tooltip and it won't really do anything and the show part is it, so you don't have to choose the icon so that's pretty handy and if you just if you don't want the tooltip and you just want the show just type show kick that's all you have to do. Now we'll go down and we'll put, type in slash cast. Now slash cast is to use any spells if you want to use trinkets it's slash use. So we'll go slash cast and there's two ways of doing this you can do square bracket target equals focus close bracket kick now what that does if you press that it will only do it will only kick your focus and it won't kick your current target so that's all it does is that that macro is only for your focus you can also do at focus and there's other ones you can do you can also do at mouse over or you can do a specific player, but specific player won't really help. So that's how you do focus ones. Now let's get into modifiers. I personally use a lot of modifiers. Now what modifiers do is you can see this is my kick macro. And what it does, it says sh hash key show tooltip kick slash cast no modifier kick. And then in the second line it's slash cast square bracket modifier colon colon is the two dots so I'll write this out for you guys slash cast close bracket modifier colon it's those ones not the ones with the comma but just the two dots shift or you can have alt and then it's comma space target equals focus close bracket Kick. Now what that will do is if I hold what I just wrote, if I hold Alt and press say that uh, kick macro is on Q, if I press Q it will kick my current target, if I press Alt Q it will kick my focus, or if I press Shift Q it will kick my focus. For this I'm going to use Shift because I personally like Shift. So I'm going to show you how this works and I'm, I've reset all my keybinds for this tutorial to show you how this works. Now I'm going to quickly go bind this to mouse wheel down. Let's go mouse wheel down. And there you can see it's done to mouse wheel down. Now let's set this one to our focus and this one to my target. Now we're attacking this one and that guy over there, this one, wants to cast something. So you want to kick him. Shift mouse wheel down. But it doesn't work. Why isn't it working? Well, that's a keybinding issue. You have with focus modifiers, you have to make sure that shift mouse wheel down or shift one or any of those keybindings aren't keybinded. So what you want to do is you want to go in there and find shift mouse wheel down, unbind the key, press OK. Now let's try this again. We're attacking this guy. And that guy wants to, is, wants to cast a spell, and you want to kick him. Shift mouse wheel down. You kicked him. That's it. That's a modifier macro. Now, let's try Arena 1, 2, 3 macros. Now, these are a bit more complicated, but they work. Let's make it Shiv. So, we want to do Show. Tooltip is optional. Shiv. So, I don't have a macro for Shiv, but what we want to do is slash cast at at or you can do target equals I like at because it's smaller at arena one 
shiv slash so what that will do or you can have kick you can have kick arena one let's do kick instead of shiv so what this does is on your arena nameplates you will see on the on the top right hand side of the screen is you will see the the top arena player the second arena player and the third now if you slash kick arena one it will kick the person at the top arena two will do the second one arena three will do the other one now this is really good if you have a DK you can do you can do chains of ice and do arena one two three and that way you can easily swap chains around to do peels or do anything or even as a rogue you can use deadly throw arena one two three just to try to get some peels and put a crippling poison on someone now I'm gonna do arena one two three at macros so slash cast target equals arena one we'll do kick now let's use modifiers as well slash cast modifier modifier shift comma space target equal arena 2 close bracket kick slash cast modifier colon shift comma target equals arena 3 Now that macro right there will kick every single person in a 3v3 match. So if you just press it normally, it will kick the top guy. If you hold shift, it will kick arena 2. And if you hold alt, it will kick arena 3. So that's how you do arena 1, 2, 3 macros. I'm going to give you guys some of my personal favorite macros from each one of my characters. This one is a personal favorite of mine when I play my rogue. And I'm going to give you a couple from each actually. This one is my shadow step focus kick macro. Now what this does is if, if you don't, I have it normally bound to 6. And when I press 6 it will, it will shadow step my current target. If I hold shift 6 it will shadow step and kick so if you have focus set to a healer, you can press this and hold shift and it will shadow step to your focus target and then it will kick them. That macro is really handy for getting some pressure out and some pretty clutchy and pretty cool uh, kicks. Um, I've got another one here. This is my tri Tricks of the Trade macro. Um, Tricks of the Trade basically increases the damage done by your teammates f by 15%. So that one's really handy if you want to get some pressure out. Use Tricks whenever you can. Another one I've got, this one is a modifier macro, but what it does is if I hold press F, it will recuperate. If I press Shift F, it will slice and dice, which is pretty handy. Now, another one I've got is Mashable Stealth. Now, what Mashable Stealth does is I can spam it and it won't pull me out of stealth and it's the same for other spells. These ones are the ones that you mash and they can have a chance to break or pull out and that's what the um, exclamation mark is for. It's so it's mashable. It only casts it once. On my priest, I don't have quite as many macros but still all the same I have some macros. Much like mashable stealth, I have mashable shadow form. I have my uh, stop casting. This one is so if I'm in mid cast, it will stop casting and it will do psychic horror on my target. If not, if I hold shift, it'll do my focus. I have shadow fiend. What this one does is it casts my shadow fiend when I'm not channeling mind flow and it will summon him. It will put my pet on aggressive, so if a target dies, it will automatically go and give me more mana. It automatically casts shadow crawl and pet attacks my current target. So what it does, if I, as soon as I summon it, it it does a shadow crawl, which is like a shadow step, and it's on him straight away. I have master spell. This one's also mashable master spell, so it doesn't cancel the cast. It does a stop casting one, so if I'm in mid cast and I need a quick master spell, it will get me my master spell. Um, I have dispersion. If I hold alt in my dispersion, 
it will cancel dispersion just in case you just need it to survive or you've or you're pretty well on mana. Sometimes you don't really need to use it, but sometimes it can be really handy if you have a, your teammate gets the target down to like ten percent and you need a shadow word death to get the kill. There's my shadow word death one. It's pretty much the same. Um, no modifier does it does my um, my main one, and if I hold shift, it does my focus. It's just uh, the shift one is sometimes is just to um, survive polymorphs and stuff like that. Now my DK has uh, a little bit more complicated macros and I'm going to do a separate guide on how to play Unholy. So I'll get into all these later. Um, well, into more depth later. Um, this one's just my Chains of Ice one and it does my focus. So it's really good if you want to get, if you, your um, teammate wants to put a CC on a Shaman and he has Grounding Totem down, you can snipe Grounding Totem with this macro. I have a Lichborn macro. Now what this one does is, as soon as I press it, um, it will cast Lichborn and use my Hellstone just to get HP back, and it will start casting Death Coils at myself, which is at player, or you can put at Love Coil, either one. It's really de that's your general surviving macro. Try not to blow Lichborn in this patch on fear. It's really a waste. Unholy Frenzy. Now this is much like Tricks, but Unholy Frenzy does damage. So. I have it set to my healer, so if he goes into a polymorph I can cast that and it will break him out of polymorph. Uh, that one was my Frost um, Death Knight um, pet, uh, pet Sack, to sacrifice pet to get HP back. Um, that one is only for Frost because it, your pet doesn't last forever and that one is just so that your sacrifice doesn't get bugged. That one there is just slash cast raise pet and next time you press it it will sacrifice that's just your general unholy sacrifice pet on I have my gargoyle macro which basically uses my cooldowns my lifeblood and my and my uh, trinket so your gargoyle sc scales off of your stats so yeah that's why that's in front and as soon as you press it your pet will follow you and your pet will attack now if your gargoyle goes and attacks random ones you can press the macro again and it will, the pet will follow you and then attack what you're attacking. That's just to keep that out of bug. And my Dark Transformation one, this one basically it's mashable as well, slash cast Dark Transformation. The exclamation mark isn't as usable but right there you see slash pet auto cast on claw. Now what this one does, it turns on claw so that your when you Dark Transform dark transform your pet, your claw does lots of damage and it uses up your energy. But now, how do you turn this off? I have a macro there. This one, the reason why it's all blanked out is because I don't have a pet summon, but this one, what it does is it gnaws your target and leaps, so if you don't have any modifiers, if you use a modifier, it will focus, it will leap at your focus and then gnaw him. And this one turns claw autocast off. So what happens if you go to get a stun on someone, it will turn off the autocast so it doesn't use up the energy and you get a pet stun guaranteed. Thank you for watching my advanced macro guide tutorial. If you want to see more from me, head over to youtube.com forward slash skeetsgaming and remember to subscribe to Dara McTire, youtube.com forward slash Dara McTire for more guides and best of PvP. And guys, as always, Skeets here, thanks for watching.